Thank you for joining us again. Our next match of day three at the Medalla Light Puerto Rico Open here in the Convention Center in San Juan. We have a great matchup here for you as we have Brittany Bryant from Canada and Sylviana Liu, Liu, Liu from Singapore in the arena ready for battle. The winner advances and the loser is out. Your commentators for this match will be myself, Tim de Ruiter, and as a guest, I have Dean Raisler from the WPBA. How are you today, Dean? I'm feeling good, Tim. You ready for another great matchup here? I'm sure hoping. So what can you tell us about these ladies? Well, I, can, I know Brittany a lot more than I, I just met uh, Sylvania in Michigan at the last tournament, so I think that may have been her first one. And Brittany, of course, is, you know, she's third or fourth right now in the WPBA. She's from Canada, been a strong player, has been up, to, up in the rankings for quite some time. Yeah, and a pretty successful break, having that kiss on the two ball. A nice position on the yeah, one to start with. This looks good. Yeah, and especially with that three and the four nearby the one, could be a nice start, especially if she can get maybe a breaker run as a start. That would be nice. I know I can maybe make the one ball. <laughs> would you get on the three? Never. <laughs> so probably low left around the eight ball. Just like that, yeah, nice, nicely played. Hit well, but now she's got to travel, get back to the four maybe, maybe can pull it back. Yeah, I think she might be just okay, even though, yeah, she could leave herself a little longer and take a little bigger cut. She has to move to the other side of the table anyways for the five, so wouldn't really mind to take a somewhat tougher cut. So we're playing two races of four here. And if it ties one each, we'll go to a deciding mm. shootout. Boy. Oh, and that was on the edge, living on the edge. And shooting from its side pocket point is always an awkward spot to be at. Never fun for the bridge. Besides that, we're playing also 30 second shot clock with one extension per player per rack. Mm, and see also the shot clock right on the screen there. Yeah. And we also are playing the Pro Period Series rules, so not the WPA rules. That means that we do allow early 10-ball combinations as long as you call them and hit the lowest number ball first, of course. And, but they do not count on the break. Nice swing. Mm. Needs to get to the other side of the five. And oh, that nudge worked out really good to go she to the She was either going to clear it or she was going to nudge it and... Both are would have worked. A little draw. Oh, did put a little pop on there. A real back swing, like real small back swing, and then she yep. popped the cue ball and might have gone a little further than she wanted to. She'll still be all right. Well, might indeed be able to still draw the cue ball back to the center of the table. I think she can. Yep. Good nice. shot. Mm, yeah, that would really be a good way to start to run the first rack. Well, on the other side. I've seen Sylviana play in Michigan. It was the first Pro Beard Series event she's played in, I think. And uh, she was doing pretty well. Like, she was really competing with the other women. So, interested to see more about her game. I think it has a lot of sides to maybe improve on or, like, interesting things to see. I think it's when, whenever it's your first or second event in a new surroundings you're going to probably need a little time to adjust and yeah Brittany got a little there's straight a, on the eight that's a big stroke there it's going to work out for her. oh and that's a beautiful shot I didn't like to be that straight on the eight but she definitely made it work look at this
taking a little bit extra time on this 10 ball. It's a little longer. It would be nice if she makes this. She break and runs out the first rack and she'll be more comfortable throughout the match. There it is. Oh, it's a pretty sweet run out there. Yeah, in the winner break format. Two races to four, like Tim said earlier. They tie it one, I mean two sets, tie it two sets and go to a shootout. Brittany's saying, I don't want to go to a shootout. I'd rather just win. No, I think most of the players think like that. <laughs> well, we've had some really good comments about the shootout. There's actually quite a lot of players that say, I don't really mind the shootout at all. And there's a couple that say, well, the pressure is just immense. But that, I think it's also a good thing. The fact that, you know, that we are creating a lot of pressure in the arena, which is enjoyable to watch too. Well, the fans sure seem to get, when they see that there's matches close, if you notice they gather around these tables and at, especially for a shootout, there's a good crowd. So it's like the buzz gets through the room quickly. Yeah, so Brittany Bryan breaking off in rack number two. Oh, look at four that four ball. ball, makes a four. She could get a clear shot. Another good break. A little lengthy on the, f on the one, but. Well, it depends on where the two ball ends up. Let's see. It doesn't go to the corner, so if she would like to be on the one, she or on the two, she would have to draw back all the way on this one ball. Yeah, Which is a very difficult shot, yeah, I mean. so. Not even sure if I would try to go jacked up and draw it back for the 2 9 combo. That's maybe a little bit too optimistic. Oh, playing safe. Yeah, and I do like the way she played this. Try to get some cover by the eight and the six for the one ball and try to also get the cue ball behind the three. Yeah, Didn't yeah. manage to do that, so she might still be able to see the short rail. Here we see the replay. Played good speed on the one ball, just the three ball would have been nice to get just behind the three. Yeah, that would have been the, the perfect scenario. So first shot for Silviana and we'll have to go short rail first. Oh, she hit this. Go oh, and that's quite unfortunate. Made the one ball of the eight and hooked herself again. Usually if you make it, you, she was always going to see the two. And if she didn't, it would end up safe. Now she hooked herself. Look at this. So a good hit on the two, but she's opened up the whole rack. Yep. And left a shot on the two. We'll have to either just slow roll it in with some right spin and leave the cue ball in the center of the table. Or a low right and go in between the six and the nine so she can play it more comfortably. Yep. But then there's more risk of bumping any balls. So I like just to soft roll it she didn't right. draw it a little bit and try to kill it probably. Oh no, and rattle. Yeah, th this was yep. the risk with the draw. Like draw put the extra spin on. Yeah, and players also, they tend because they feel like they have to hold the cue ball. They will still try to aim it a little thicker. You see, she missed it on the thick side because yep. she's trying to take away speed from the cue ball. So w could be a nice start for Silviana to get her first game on the board. So you say Silviana and I said Sylvania, so I'm probably going to have to be corrected here because... I never took the time to really get the pronunciation of her first name. Well, I thought her, the back of her shirt said Silviana L Lou, so... It, it is Lou, I know It that. is Lou, so... That's only two letters, I can get that right. <laughs> yeah, traveling together with Aloysius Yap. Okay. As they're currently dating, as far as I know. Gotcha. Not a bad sparring partner to have. No, yep. not, not at all. 
still ended up a little funny queuing over that nine ball with the bridge but the good thing is she only has to make the five guaranteed to be on the six to the side oh and caught it a little bit too thick as you said but she was right there and a pretty easy out if she got into that five ball but not one of the worst things that could happen as the five ball got back to the short rail see got the point and went back yep oh Ooh. double kiss straight in the pocket so not a good chance for Silviana. Yep. Yeah, like you said before, it's not really a tough layout from here. Just float the six ball in. Stun to the center of the table. Always make sure you have that nice angle. You don't want to be too straight. You don't want to have a crazy big angle just in between. It's nice. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure she wasn't playing, planning on getting the knight. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so. But. but it definitely worked out. She can't complain about where the cue was stopped and only has to just make this nine ball. Stop the cue ball right there. So we could have a good match on our hands here. So one each, Sofiana Lou levels the score. Good to have Brittany in her seat for a little bit because it, she had such a good start. You don't want to have her hitting a gear and start to play well for a long period. Yeah, get up to nothing, get more confidence, and all of a sudden it's boom over the first set. Yeah. yeah and well, that's also another thing with this format is that if you lose that first set, the best thing you can play for is that shootout. So that first set is a real deal breaker. What a beautiful venue here. Unreal. Didn't know what to expect when I got here. I got in late uh, Tuesday night because I had an event last weekend and had a flip on Monday to get take a flight on Tuesday so yeah they have really been working very hard it was long days I was here too to help with the build up and uh, those were long days but we are very happy with the end result or at least I am qu actually more surprised because during build up it always looks so boring and like a lot of players they don't really know how much work goes into an event like this and I get to see that side a little bit more now, and I'm very impressed by the work. I think if every player had a pitch in and do one of those setups, they'd have a whole different perspective. Oh, look at this break. Oh, wow. and just both, both balls going to the side and just, just stayed up there. Look at that cue ball. The power she gets. That yeah, was a little girl. It was definitely a good break, but... Maybe a little bit too firm. Yep. So she might cut this in the corner. I think I would go for a corner. It's either that or the safety behind the 5 6. She didn't get the cover though. The one ball was okay, but no cover behind any balls correct 
So what's the schedule for next year? Oh, it's looking pretty positive. Of course, there's still uh, a few uh, a few left out there to get, but um, I'll have a little more time after uh, our next WPBA event uh, in Wisconsin. My uh, it's actually my event, the Dr. Poole Classic too, and uh, then I got December and. We'd like to have everything signed by the end of December, but in this case, it might take a little bit of January. I'm working with some pretty big uh, properties right now. I do a lot with casinos, so it's been my gig for about 25 years. Okay. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities. Uh, I think we'll have more stops than than last year. I'm looking at about 12, hopefully, total with the Predator events. Well, which is. Nice increasement and a lot of tournaments for the players as well, which is good. Um, the only drawback sometimes is with some of the players that are working because, you know, they're not making a living off a of pool, but they love pool and they're playing and they're, you know, pretty well talented. Um, getting time off work and then, of course, the cost. The cost to come to these events is, uh, is quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, it's, it's an investment, yeah. especially if you're working. Sometimes it's tough. Yeah. So yeah, they have to make choices. So pretty nice cut shot on the one, just very but unfortunate to exactly robbed. have yeah. the eight ball in, in between. Kicking at it here. Yeah, I would probably play with draw and kick it hard because if you make the two, you want to bump the eight. Yep. Uh, she got it on the other side, but if she hit the right side of the two, yep. you definitely want to run yep. into the eight yep. and not just roll up on the eight. You see, just got a little bit too much from the left side but has not really left an easy shot, especially if you consider where that three ball is. Exactly. So possibly another safety. Yep. Yep, just, I just want to get behind that eight ball. Yeah, so I'm not sure if this two ball goes or she has to play another safety, but safety is not very tough. Trying to get behind the 10. It's a little slow though. I see that a lot of players are struggling with the speed. And is, it, is it changing? Do you think, I actually haven't been watching it that close. Is the speed changing or do you think it's just, because it is very, it's it's uh, more humid. It's, it seems more humid today than it did the prior couple days, you know? Well, I mean, the same with pool, wherever you go. You can change the weather and the conditions. Like you can do a little bit with air conditioning like they did here, but then still it's always going to be affecting whatever is on the table or the tables itself. It, that's how it goes. Yep. Um, so the players, but, players have to adjust. Yeah, the, it's basically up to the player if they want to get far in the event or not. It's not really something we can do. I just know that, like I've, I had good talks and I, they just, they're just trying to have a, di this is a different version of the cloth. It's a newer version, Arcadia cloth. Um, they did some improvements, and I've heard, uh, for example, Alex Kazakis was very happy. He said this is probably the tables at the moment are the best that he's been playing on on the Pro Beard series. So of, of all the tournaments he's played, right now they are playing the best that they have done, which is a huge improvement because of obviously nobody will forget what happened in the past. Right. But it's good to hear that they're so working on it to make it better. And like we had the talk before, that's the main thing with the whole U.S. Pro Beard Series and the cooperation with the WPBA and with CSI is they started this just, what is it, a year or maybe two years ago. So, yeah, so yeah, like a year ago. And they're still trying to improve. It's not just this and that's it. They're trying to do more events, more for the players, nice, good equipment good show good production they're trying to do the whole package deal and if something's not right they're not shy to say okay has not been great but let's work on it sometimes you don't know until you try exactly so i'm just happy to see a lot of improvements on a lot of sides just everybody's trying to improve their their part of the of the deal and That's a good safety shot. 
I was mean, always going to leave the easy one there. Yeah. yeah. If pool is going to you know, go places from where it is, you know, from where it has been, and now it's, it seems to be heated up a little bit. It's, you know, it's, it's on the forefront a little more. And if you have someone like Predator coming in and, and really making it better than it's ever been kind of as far as the production and everything and the inclusion of the amateurs you know it's always good to have the amateurs obviously alongside any pro events been that way for a long time but not all places could you know do that and with csi providing amateur players you have the opportunity to to get the exposure not only to them but from to a lot of other people you know they you yeah. know, tell people and they can you know you're going to want to have eventually you're going to want to have the amateurs come to the events and you're going to pack it and you're going to probably have to cut off the entries at some point because this Puerto Rico thing, it's so nice down here and I know that it is the uh, the intention to really make this a big thing and it can be. You have the hotels right here, it's a beautiful area. Convention center is, is you know, it's, it's unbelievable in size. You got security here, you got everything here um, and the restaurants right across the way at the you know, the, the right across there, the, it's, it's great. I've, I've eaten over there three times already, and I've only been here a few days, you know. But every, everything's been great. Yeah, and I know for a fact that they did sign a contract for three years, so they're oh, really trying okay. to, I or at least two years, that's what I heard. Yeah. So that's what I think it was maybe Marcus had said this, like, oh, next year I'll be back, because yeah. so far everybody's been loving it, and yeah. the venue has been great, and yeah, just... But I think it's a good thing that we have so many tournaments right now. WPBA, but also just the Predator tournaments, CSI on the side. Like, there's so much for the players that they now can choose the events they want to play. Like, everybody has their own personal situation, and not everybody can go everywhere or has to choose along the situation they are in. But at least they can get to choose and maybe still make options. a living. They have the options. Yeah. yeah, they have the options and can still make a living if they want to. So I think Paul is in a really good position right now. And it can only get better from here too. Like th there is a lot more coming. So try to make the five of the six, I think. And yep. I'm not sure what she has left here. She's got half the pocket on that side. She's going to try to cut the five across. I know she was looking at it, but she grimaced. Yeah, so she's cutting it in the side and low. Nice shot. Then oh, don't get, get robbed here. Yeah, I had oh to. Oh, boy. I don't know. Run a little further and. Such a good stroke she put on that and just travel just a. Well, the here. thing is, she put some right spin on there that really yeah. made it come back after she hit the short rail. And. How much can she see from the six? Was she still able to bank the six? I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, she can. And oh, that's, that's a that's sweet center. shot. That's going to get her out, I believe. If I was able to bet on this out, I would probably have to take this. She's getting out. Never force me to bet, Tim. I do it enough of them. <laughs> well, if you want to bet, you go to the casino. That's not what I'm here for. That was a nice. Oh, she did draw the cue ball a little bit much did on not the like eight, that. though. See, I'm a bad better. I knew it. <laughs> Let's see what she does here. So that means that she probably has to go two rails now for this eight. Or she plays it with a lot of left and hits it soft. But that's most of the time a shot most of the pool players don't like because it gets really sensitive. See, this way she has a pretty comfortable speed. And I think she landed perfect on that nine ball. Just not for her length, but... She can handle this with the bridge. Pretty focused look there. It's good to see. Both both of them. Yeah, so a little longer tumble. But with high rewards. She'll be one step closer. Taking the lead two to one. If she makes this. There it is. 
Yeah, so Brittany Bryant is 2-1 up. And from what I've seen, this match could be a lot closer than most of the people probably think. Oh, I, I thought it would be close. I mean, so yeah. Liana's a great player. I mean, it's... But most no people runaway. never really seen Liana probably right. play Silviana, so... Right. So you automatically make her the underdog because you've heard of Brittany Bryant. Exactly. Brittany has been a regular on the WPBA tour, so you would expect to be like, oh, well, she's okay here, but you just don't know. Good look at the shiny Arcos balls in the rack there. Yeah, it's still my favorite view, the reflection of the arena lights in the balls. That's my favorite. I'm really a big fan of those lights, and actually I'm about to get one for the club I practice in in my country. Okay, cool. Because it really, like, I try to make videos, and I do some, like I, I try to promote the game with social media, and then these lights are just perfect for any streaming and all that stuff. Like, it just, just makes everything look a lot better. Oh, a nice break, make it forward straight in the side, and look at the one ball. Two balls on the break, yep. and perfect on the one. Six and seven got a little, little iffy, but... Tim, tell me about this cue ball, since I don't know anything about this cue ball at all. Is it... Th uh, this cue ball? Yeah. Um, so basically it's not, like it's, it's an Aramid production ball, so okay. it's just like the regular Aramid balls. Um, but they're specifically selected, like, um, how do I explain this? This is a very difficult question. Oh, it's so an easy question. Yeah, well, it's okay. So I heard that the colors of the balls, that's like, it's very important to have the right colors of the balls because the color scheme was like specifically made for TV to make it easy for the viewer to watch. Now the dots on the cue ball are made to see the spin, so to see. Right, Just, you know, you, you, you think of the measles ball, and I guess the question was how does it, how would this differ from the measles ball? Yeah, which I think it's quite similar to it. I mean, most of the products that Aramid make are similar. Just probably the new, the, the newer balls you get, the better the quality, obviously, because they're newer and. Yeah. A newer release product will always be better than a product that has been out for 20 years. That's that's the fact. So, but again, nobody like everybody's happy with the balls, and so far I don't really like. I've been playing with cyclo balls at Derby, and like I've seen different brands, and I've seen really strange stuff happening just because the cue ball, some of them were not even round, right? Or they would like find a different groove on the cloth, and like. Just really strange stuff, and I've just never seen that happen with the Arcos balls, Arcos 2. Well, when you're dealing with Aramid, which we have for a long time, the quality has always been there, you know. Ivan, you know, Ivan has a good product, and uh, just happy we've had a relationship for so long with the WPBA and Aramid. Yeah, I mean, as as far as I know, I've always been playing with Aramith. Like, I tried, obviously, different sets of balls, but, yeah. It's really been my favorite so far. But it's also preference, and there's a lot of taste, of course. Like, everybody has a different, different perspective on the balls. Some like the really flashy colors from the Cyclops they had yeah. back then. I think it was a little bit too much, but that's like, that's pure preference. So tough seven ball, made a good shot on the six. Oh, she hit it good. And this no, is don't a really get too nice, close just, here. just a speed. Well, I think she got just okay enough to cut this in the side. She had practice with the five ball on this shot before, so let's see. Yeah, I th that looks doable. Yeah, cut in the side and play with stun right, going maybe straight down the table, or she can play with draw and use two rails. Or even forward. She can go forward two rails. Oh, but she, it. I think she was so focused on the cue ball that she has missed the eight. And what has she given Sylviana to work with? Did yeah, you see it looked it? like it was getting close when I last saw it. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy. Yeah, this is this is a tough shot. I'm not even sure if it goes in the corner. Like she will have to cut it pretty thin. And the cue ball will be flying all around the table too. She just used her extension, if you've seen that. Okay, so I think it does go. Just tough. Usually when you're really far off your shot or really close, that's to where most of the times the shots get pretty difficult. Okay, she still draws a soft, but then she's always going to sell out if she doesn't make it. That's in, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, a good shot. 2-2 two, two here momentarily. Yeah, and kind of unexpected. Brittany really, she, she had a good break, was running out, everything was okay, and then she made a good shot on the 6. Just hit the 7 ball a little bit too firm or too soft. And in the end, it's Sylviana Lou that stole that game and leveled the score to each. I was told by a number of players that if you make one mistake in this short race, it's probably not going to be a good outcome in the set for you. Yeah, completely it's agree. Just such a swing. Well, that's the thing too. Like I, this set could have easily been 4-0 for Brittany, but you know, like that's just the momentum that goes up and down. And especially if you miss a couple balls, like Brittany just did, miss the eight. Well, then it could also be easily 4-1 for Silviana so it's like that's a good thing about this format too like I talked to um, to Mika Eminen and he is really like he really likes the format because you always got to be sharp there is no moment in the whole match where you can say oh let me go jacked up and just try to make this and if I don't well then the score is going to be 7-2 yeah I was saying you know, the like, funny thing is I was thinking well if the score was 7-1 like you, you like you were talking yeah the score isn't 7-1 in here and you go and say if you oh it's going to be 7-2 so we're, yeah, thinking, but, we're thinking the same score yeah but it's, it's <laughs> like yeah but it's it's really that thing like you just can't throw one game away just to try something or to make something great happen now you always got to be at your game Big suspense, nice yep. break, yep. made the three in the side, and no. cue ball got kissed nicely. Except that nine ball snuck in the way. Yeah, spoiling the party here. Has lost the cue ball a bit though, went to the side, but the nine ball saved it. The nine ball helped it and hurt, all the same. So probably we'll see her play the push out. Might be able to maybe push the seven and the two together or yeah, maybe put some balls together. You don't want to give a shot that Brittany can make. Going to try to put it to an angle where it's going to be tough to get on the two. Well, in this case, she might have to go real first. Right. If she can go real first, she can miss the two ball. It's still, it's not nice though. Like it's not a guarantee thing. So I wouldn't really mind if she said, like if she passed it. But if she's feeling good, she could try this. Even if she bumps the two ball, there's a chance she would end up with a 2-7 combination. Maybe the two comes just enough out to get on the two. So good things can happen here. So no, this is interesting. Yeah, probably. Is she going to thin it and use the seven to stop it or play safety or what do you think here? Yeah, she might She might just bank the two ball over and get the cue ball two reels behind the nine. There's a pretty big gap behind that nine ball. Oh, hit that a little soft though. Like of course, like this is a difference. Like it's a safety but it could have been way better. It would not have diff it would not have made a big difference if she played it for f more firm because the two ball is always going to be right. down table. And if Silviana, yeah, she's she just has to jump you out. There is a high high percentage she she's going to hit the two. Oh, well, it came that close to making it. Yeah. What she got? But th this is the main point I'm looking at. So now, just because Brittany didn't get that cue ball stuck to the nine, 
She gave Sylviana the opportunity to get lucky and not give another shot. Like, it's lucky that the tube ended up on that short rail, but that's what Brittany allowed Sylviana to do. She might have to kick this from the back up to the 8. That, or cut the 2 ball in, but the 2 is thin. Oh, and the cue ball, look at the cue good. ball. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a nice shot. Hit that really good. Play that with a trace of left spin. You see when it hit the rail, it opened up to the left. Yep, took the scratch away. Perfect on the 4 ball. Oh, got a little tight, but should still have a stroke on the five. Oh, I'm not the too sure. It looks a lot closer to me. Hitting, she's hitting the left side of the five, though. I think she has it. Just don't get nervous. Don't think about it. She's looking at it now. She must uh, use extension. So it must be tougher than. Well, this is this is a shot you would use extension. All the rest of the balls are out in the open. Well, let's see if she's queuing over the she is queuing over the six, so tough. So she'll have to go around the eight maybe. Misses the five. And yep. that's the difference shooting over a ball or not. Such a big difference. Makes a shot probably three times as tough. Not really happy there. Definitely had her had the opportunities already to make this quick work. Oh boy, I didn't see that coming. Um, what? What a little shift in momentum both ways there. Not really sure why. Too like if she just played center ball, I did see that five ball turning more to the left like sh the throw on the five ball really got her there that's why i always like to play just a little bit of left or right on shots like those like sylviana just had so just top spin here maybe a mini little bit of left to just go past the nine doesn't want to end up straight still needs to come back down for the eight That's pretty oh, good. Yeah, it was a little soft. Yeah. Still it up a little bit there in the end. Didn't really stroke the ball. She kind of guided it. Yeah, punched it a little bit. So she'll have to cut the seven. And there's a couple different ways she can play this with inside and go around the table, like f four rails. She could also just cut this and go in between the ten and the eight. Just up and down. Well, she played three rails around the eight. It's a nice shot. Yes, it is. Just a little firm again, long on the eight, and no angle. See, it's one of those cases you play all your life to get straight in, and then you figure out that when you really get good, you don't want to be straight in. <laughs> a lot of shots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most of the time when you when you really experience being straight in all the time you figure out that it's not a nice place to be in <laughs> it's pretty tough so now she can either go two rails and go past the 10 or play the top right side of the 10 ball oh and like she you just barely said I didn't see that coming she barely put any left spin on that just look at the cue ball. She just she did play it with draw, but it was almost no left spin. So she called it straight back. Straight right in the corner. Don't hit it too firm. Pocket speed. And she's got it too wide and all momentum surely is going back and forth here. Cue ball close to the 10 and big opportunity for Sylviana to go on the hill here and 
Things are not going too well for bow players so far. It's like nobody wanted to win this fifth game. Well, I'm sure they do. Well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know. Oh, and she makes it then, and very fortunate to go on the hill in this set. But on the other side, I would take it. True. I mean, sometimes you don't have to play well to win. Just fight hard, try to stay in there, and try to pick the right shot still. And It's always so awkward when people say, oh, the only thing you can do is try your best. Like, well, I sure hope you can do a little bit more than that. And the background, we got the CSI Caribbean Expo going on. And yeah, what do they got? 24 tables back there? Yeah, 24 Predator Apex 7 foot tables. And we got 20 Apex 9 foot Predator tables for the pro event. Yeah, I'm loving this venue. Love the lighting too. They've been doing a lot with like color lighting around the venue and. Okay, let's go back to this match. Let's see if she can break the same way as she did before. She does squat the cue ball quite a bit for... She's not a big woman at all, so... No. Oh, look at this. Perfect break. Stop the cue ball in the center of the table, makes a six, and has a shot on the one. Yeah, can't argue with that break. Got a little work to do, but at least you're at the table. Yeah, the only problem she has is the two ball is blocked by the five, so she could choose to just run into the two. Use quite some speed and take a gamble. Oh, into the ten. Or, hit, wow, or, hit, it, or hit it perfect, right? And <laughs> <get> it. <laughs> wow, that was a very good shot. But the hard work is not done yet. The four and the seven is also pretty tough to deal with. I was thinking maybe she has a small angle now to run into the four and still has a shot on the three, but looks like she's pretty straight and has the other angle. Would be nice if she might Oh, this, oh, this, this four ball goes in the corner. Yes. Oh, and I did not know that. I thought they were a little closer to each other. So, if she can get close to that nine ball, oh, she underhit the cue ball. Now she's gonna draw off it, and the cue ball might be heading towards that side pocket. But yeah. I don't know. There was not really acceleration on that shot. She really right. just, she just barely pushed it over and. Oh, what's she playing here? Is she cutting the four and she playing with safe. stun off the seven? No, she's Played playing safe. safe. Does she call the ten? Wow. So I was going to say, moving the ten ball over to that corner pocket is a very risky shot. You got five, it, it jump shot on the four and you got the five ten. Yeah, look at this. Possibly trying to get behind the eight and the five, I would, I would guess so, because the ten ball leaving in front of the pocket Especially with the five there, very Goes risky. For the jump cue, but that Call doesn't stop the clock, does it? So she called her extension. This is a key shot in the match right here. Yeah, if she makes this four, she's most likely to have the five ten, and we'll go hill hill. Can go either way. If she doesn't make it, we might go to set number two. Oh, oh. Boy, that's a foul. Hit the seven. Yeah, that seven ball was quite far from the cue ball, so needed to have a, just a little bit more elevation to get over the ball. And like you can see, she just she almost got over the seven ball, but needed just a little bit more angle to make sure the cue ball had more air. Yeah, and now the five ten combination to claim a four two. Victory in set number one. There we go. Yeah. Silviana Lu.
takes the first set for the two, and who would have expected that? Not the way the match started. Oh, especially if you look at how well Brittany has been breaking, and she had the good opportunities, and yeah, just very surprised. I spoke with Sylvania right before the match, and I said, what do you want me to tell everybody that you're going to win the event? And she just smiles. She, she speaks very little English. She goes, I like to win. She goes. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> who, who doesn't? doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I, I get that attitude, too. Like, it's, it's very, very tough. Like, people are always like, oh, you, you, are you going to win this event? Or, like, they always focus on winning the event, which is, oh, in the end, you have 64 players, and there's only one that will eventually win the event. So, like, at some point, you don't even mention winning the event no more you just try to get a good finish and whenever you get close then you start working to actually win the tournament it's always a like a long road you don't go you you, you can't really pass the first couple matches you really just got to build it up all the way till the final usually the winner of the event the f their first matches they're playing really bad right and then they start to get better and better every match and they gain, win. Uh, gain momentum and... Yep. So, you see a big angle on the break here. Makes the cue ball jump. And... This time comes up dry, but she's got some cover here. Yeah, like... Oh, that's also another thing I was talking to Tony about. If we had the ability to... Just every time you would make a ball on the break, you would have shape. And every time you would have a dry break, you would be hooked on your next shot. Like it's such a big, big difference. And if you could have that, that luck all the time, then you will win a lot of matches. Yep. Here's a push out by Britt. And now Sylvania has the take it or give it back. Pretty sure she's going to take it. This is the first game of the second set. Wipe the slate clean, and Brittany has to win this set to get into a shootout. Oh, and if not, she's out. Out of the tournament, so there's there's more pressure than just a little bit. Just you know, you never want to be out of the tournament. Well, for now, I would just be focused on trying to win this set, and then I worry about the shootout. Like it goes in steps and phases. In this moment, she shouldn't be thinking, oh, and if I win now, then I got the shootout. You know, like that's, that's something we worry on later, later on. In this case, I think it's most important that she just forgets what happened in the first set. Because it kind of broke down there. Oh, oh, look at this. Yeah, she had called that 10 ball in the corner and wow. Something we don't know where we're sitting, obviously, that she had called it, but, or I wasn't paying attention. The referee knows, though. He's racking them up. Oh, just that was a fabulous shot. shot. Says, are we going to see the replay on that? Just yeah. look at this. That's Kicks I mean, really? one into the ten. It makes it straight in the hole. Didn't even hesitate. What an amazing shot. So this way, momentum is really going very fast. Actually, Brittany played a okay safety. It was easy to hit, like I said before. Like if you can manage that, the hit will be more difficult, then you will get better rewards. But in this case, we never expected her to actually make that 10 ball. But pretty much a free whack at it, because you're either playing safety, so you might as well call it. Yeah. You never know what happens. A crushing break. And that eight ball maybe still goes. 
No. An opportunity for Brittany. Got shape on the one. Two is nearby. The two and the three. Just not sure if that two ball will go. Uh, the three ball, I'm sorry. In the bottom left corner. I said that three ball looks like it doesn't go and she's also got rung on the two ball little wrong angle so she might have to play oh she's going forward oh she's got it in the corner and that's a and pretty strong shot and just made it makeable made it makeable just left a pretty big cut would have liked to hit a little bit more in the face just pushing it over see here she just clipped it still makeable but we'll have to Maybe run into the 10 ball. That's what I was thinking. Maybe she can kill it, kill it with the 10 ball. Nope, missed a 10. Well, it's still a it's still Not okay. that bad. Now, the next thing is that 5 ball doesn't go. So she's trying to play position for the 5 6 carom. I think oh, she's up. left herself. I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Especially Great if she grazer. plays this with a little bit right spin. Yep. That six ball will be thrown a little bit more towards the short rail. She's not too sure about it. Maybe she's doubting if it still works from here. If she doesn't like it, she might. Soft roll or? Yeah, maybe play safe. Or she could yeah. go for the bank on the eight, but she's playing the safety. Pretty easy to hit, though. But on the other side, if you're just not sure about the carom, then you don't shoot it. That's how it goes. I think she's gonna have to go to the maybe go to the rail first to hit the five if she wants to then have a shot at the six. So each player has used their extension. Yeah, I can either go one rail or play a little bit more to the left and go two rails. Or in between the ten and the eight, go two rails. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. Perfect. Oh, and that's a very good shot. You can see she was going to go two rails because she was putting the, the right English on it. And the big right question is, did she hook herself after? Just look at this. Going two rails. Not expecting the cue ball to travel that far. Well, she did have to play that speed just in case she didn't make the five. She still had to get that cue ball back up table. Well, she didn't get her jump cue, so that means this ball goes. And she just has to make it and stop the cue ball. Wow. Very impressive shot. She's feeling it right now. Another tough shot. Well. Oh. She drilled it. <laughs> She's starting to strike the ball really nice. So inside, going four rails around the angle. There's a big scratch though. Oh there boy. is a big scratch. Ooh. Well, she's playing with fire, but on the other side, she got on the nine. Probably the most awkward spot on the table, just be besides that middle, like side pocket point. 
But the good thing is, if she just rolls a 9 ball in, she's okay for the 10. Oh, and she forced the cue ball. I'm not really sure why she, she could have done that. And Well, Brittany is going to like this. Ball in hand on just two balls. Wow. Just float the 9 ball in. Just soft. She punched it. Uh, I just don't understand that one. So you might want to remember that nine ball shot. Yeah, I mean, little gift for Brittany Bryant. Levels to score one each. Quick shout out to my sister in Chicago texting me that she's watching. You have a lot of fans around, huh? I got one or two. Ah. Well, welcome to everybody. It's great to having you here. At the Medaya Light Puerto Rico Open. It's pretty, pretty packed week. A lot of players, I think over 200 players, 44 countries. We'll have, we have a 128 play player men field, 64 players women's field. Yep. And we'll have the World Nine Ball Junior Championships coming up, and the World Eight Ball Championships, which ha last time they did that was 10 years ago. Really? So that's quite impressive, and I'm really looking forward to all the action this week. I think it's going to be great for pool. So Brittany breaking. Still break it from the center, and why not? She's been having good results and making balls, so. Oh, she didn't hit him that square this time, and maybe off the four, no. Well, and she's left a shot on the one, so open table for Silviana. Yeah, they just, you watch the center of that racket, just didn't scatter like Silviana's has been. Well, it's also like she did catch it a little bit on the side, so the impact is not completely on the balls. Tough first shot, though. Might have to run into the seven just to take the gamble. She found the gap in between. Very nicely played. Well, this is the next challenge. Might have to leave herself a long three ball just to make sure she has something. Not too many gaps here. You see, with quite some spin trying to not run into the seven and not run uh, run into the ten she have to draw it to get past the four and try to get it in position here she's looking at the windows Looks pretty good, left herself a nice shot and also got that four ball off the rail. So if she can at least maneuver around the 10 ball, there's a pretty big chance that she will get on the four. That was a great two way shot there. She could also go back and run into the five. That's the other option. Oh, and she played it with so much speed. Again, I don't understand why she played it that hard, that firm. Well, she might have her reasons for it, but this time it didn't work and she scratched straight in the side here. Hmm. And slowly, the opportunities are coming along for Brittany. Just tough to get on the five ball. Six balls blocking the pocket and just trying to get the five to the side pocket. And how is the speed? You'd have to give her probably a B. 
No, this is ball in hand. Ball in hand position. That's what B stands for. She held that nice. that nicely with some inside spin left spin to make the angle going to the short yeah, side of the seven and she just got she liked that cue ball closer to the rail yeah either a little bit more off the rail or yeah. closer to the rail she's pretty straight on the seven she's so gonna see one of these draw strokes here but and that's also a thing we've been seeing a lot with Brittany like she's been playing pretty well but she does get straight sometimes where she really needs that angle yep yeah, she's drawing it but she was yeah. trying to leave it for the side and she may have to bump the nine now and take her chances yeah i mean i th i think i like running into the nine if you play with a certain speed you always at least have a shot on the nine if you make the eight though first make the eight we'll see later good shot and okay still could have been a little easier on the nine but I'll take this. She's still shooting. Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet, but yeah, never, that kill was short enough. again. And yeah. I was thinking about just playing it always two rails, just making sure you bump that second rail. That way, you're always okay on the ten and. It's a difficult cut. Even looks worse now looking at it. Well, it doesn't really look comfortable. <laughs> so she's cutting this to take the lead to the one. Brittany Bryant. Well, and it goes wow. straight in the hole, but wow. look at the cue ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could say that's fortunate, but also a very good shot. Just look at how the temp all went in, but the cue ball almost scratched. Whew. Well, I mean, it counts, so why not? No, I got something to ask you. Our, I know a lot of times we play in the WPBA, each player has a five minute break. How does that work on the TV tables? Um, so both players, they ha still have a five minute break and they can choose to take it in like the first or the second set. As far as I know, when you get to a shootout, both players are allowed to leave the arena for a small break. Just because two sets could, I mean, yeah, like both sets each could be 45 minutes. And you could really need a restroom right. break after two right. sets. So like, but to give you the best answer, you have to ask John Lehman. <laughs> It's something like most of the time players take just one break, so yeah. that way I don't really get to go deep into the rules. Me as a player, I think I would only take one break too, so. So Brittany Bryant breaking again from the center. And again, just just a half hit. Oh, not that great hit on the one. You see a roller eyes on a 210 possibility. I didn't catch where the one ball ended. Yeah, she definitely left a shot on the one if you look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that 210 is not too tough. I might just mm. roll this one ball in and just run into the five. And that way you're are. quite straight. straight. Yep. Because it's tough to get it closer to that long rail if you try to play it with draw or anything. She's playing low in the cue ball. She's trying to do more. She's trying to play it very cute, very soft. Oh, she played the kiss. It's a good shot. I like it. We have to let everybody know we're on a two-minute uh, delay here. That's why you're able to call that shot. <laughs> I'm not messing with you. <laughs> no, we're, we're I might be we're talking too loud. Live as live can be. 
So this Temble to ta to make the score two each and momentum back and forth. There we oh, have she it. struck that pretty good, so two each and it looks like we're having a, a <laughs> like it's almost a repeat from the first set. Like it, things are going exactly the same way. But I think Sylviana has the edge a little bit so far. She's been striking the ball a little bit better. We got a 2-2 in the second set. You got you to gotta think there's more pressure on Brittany right now than there is on Sylviana. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Because Sylviana, she has a backup. Yes. In case she loses, she goes to a shootout. I'm sure she's trying to avoid it. But you have to, you have to pick Sylviana from here always. It's, I mean, it's like when, when a guy is up three in a race to six, you still take that guy, you know, it's... So referee making sure the balls are nice and tight and we'll see another big break probably from Silviana. Pretty impressed by the way she breaks so far. Oh yeah. Not many women break that way, let's say like that. I think it's more a matter of practice. Like most of them, they just don't practice that hard on the break. But the ones that do, they break like this. Oh, oh, and the cue ball straight in the side. Pretty nice squad of the cue ball, though. Like it was a nice impact, but just not head on that one ball. You see, cue ball flying up. Ball's going everywhere, and then. Now, in the last break, the cue ball came directly back and kind of stopped on that one, which tells me she must have hit it just maybe a little bit to the right, where it spun off to yeah. the right. Yeah, if you don't hit it head on, that's where the cue ball usually tracks a uh, takes a little different track. Uh, Brittany so is done trying to run out. She's yeah, playing she safe. Yeah, she's play three fall rule. Oh, especially if she can bank that one ball next to the 2-3-8, that way there's a nice opportunity to play a next safety after. Yes. Oh, she let it get away on her. Wow. Well, she's asking about the 60 seconds after the break. They didn't set the clock, possibly. Oh, she seems satisfied with the answer. Yeah, well, she... She rushed right up there, I don't know. I mean, nonetheless, that cue ball should have never slipped out anyways. Yeah, Even if it was 30, 60, or 90 seconds, that she did really let up on that, and she'll be behind the cue ball here. Yeah, I like this shot also because she bumped the eight ball out of the way, so she's trying to move the game in a better position, and she played a good cue ball during that shot. That pretty good. Straight in the face, but the bad thing about this shot was that the chance of leaving the one ball was yeah, pretty ten. big. Like there was only the two and the eight to get lucky yeah, behind. She can't, she can't draw this enough to make the ten, but she can definitely. Well, she can run into yeah. the two ball or leave yeah. the two ball maybe for the side if she can get next to the four ball. Well, she took the risk and a little bit too firm. End of run here. Unless she's going for a bank, which... Over a ball bank, yeah. That would be tough. She did take a lot of gambles, though. Like, she did really risk a couple times where she was like, oh, I'm just going to try and blast them open. Which is a really positive way of, like, how she has a look on the game. Yes. But this safety, unfortunately, is not good enough. And 
Brittany with the chance and now the balls are spread really nice. If you can get straight on the three, you got the four to the bottom left, you got the five in the side. The seven and the eight are close, the nine is next to the side, so it all connects the dots. Just don't move and stay in line, I guess. True. Well, I might have to shoot this to the corner. Right yeah, up. and kill it off the rail, right? Yeah. We'll have to go one rail to the four. She can choose to cut it in the side, but then the cue ball is going to have a lot more movement, which and you're trying not to do. Yeah. The, 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 more, the more chance you get the cue ball to get away from you. Yeah. So this was nicely hit. Yeah, a good recovery shot. Stop. Roll six, seven, eight. Yeah. Well, still, I have to say, because of the temple, it's tough to create an angle on the eight later. Correct. To go to the other side of the nine. So that's something she got to watch. She might leave herself above the ten to cut the eight. But we're not there yet. We're always a couple balls ahead, right? Yeah. As a player, you only worry about the next two shots. Low left on this. That's pretty good. Yeah, so I would say this is key shot from the stuff she had after that three ball to the corner. I think this was the main thing to work on. If she stops the kill ball right there, she might she's able to cut the eight and get natural on the nine. But then the cut is a little bit more difficult. Oh, and she so was so focused on following the cue ball she missed the seven. Man. Yeah, and I just... She hasn't really been playing that bad, but then out of the sudden she does miss shots like this. Just maybe just loss of focus. It had to be because, you know... Oh, well. This is what I was worried about. You did not want to get this trade on the eight. She might have to go real first here. Or can she still force the angle out? She's going to try to draw it back and play the nine up in the corner. Is she cheating the pocket here? Oh, oh she did a super she draw. hit that really wow. sweet. Look at that spin. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. I knew she was drawing it, but I didn't think she was going to do that. Oh, look at how it took off from that rail. And Okay, she didn't get straight in the side, but she's left herself a nice angle to go four rails around the angle. So yep. Just cut this in as thin as you can. Here it comes. Well, it does go a little bit close to the corner, but she played a good speed and yeah, I'm straight not, on the ball. She's not going to be dissatisfied with that outcome. No, no, that's for sure. So this stumble to go on the hill, double hill actually, because if she takes one more game, she's over. Yeah, so our great ratings are going to go right out the window that we've had here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's the thing we usually have because most of the people don't see like players from Asia yeah they say oh well we've seen Brittany so many times she's a favorite and then shockers happen like this I've seen that many times also in the men's event there's so many European players that have never been to the US and then they come over and all the US are like oh no this guy's favorite that guy's favorite and they, they will lose money yeah just because they don't know it's very interesting contrast who is John Lehman Head referee, so tournament director here at the US Pro Period Series. He has an intense look on his face. Really, the match has gone along very quickly. Well, he's observing if, of course, his referees are doing their job yeah that's maybe that's why it's so intense you never know well i mean uh, it sure takes also focus for him you know like he needs to make sure he looks at every small detail and teaching every one of them as they go right because every no, nobody knows everything right no exactly so made a nine ball on the break just no shot on the one 
You see, nine ball goes straight in the side. Cue ball got again a little bit close to the right side bucket, but got the small kiss. Now, if she wants, she can go aggressive and bank the one ball and have position on the two. But I would not mind bringing the cue ball back three reels behind the four and banking the one ball towards the ten just to create di distance. You don't want to make Brittany, like, g give her the feeling that she has a chance. Right. Well, she was trying to get behind the 10, I think, but it's a safety. And so I'd like to say before we go too far along here with the match getting close, if you're going to, if you're a fan of the, of the women and want to see them play, you know, you can go to the Predator Pro Billiard Series website or WPBA.com. I know we have six or seven events listed already with the three uh, Predators already listed for next year, and that will be expanding. <laughs> and the women, nice, nice jump shot. The women truly do uh, thank you for the support um, that you give them. Either it's watching and whatever, or attending the events, or whatever way you can support them. They're very appreciative of it. I speak because I know as the president. Well, you, we you've been around for a long time, so. And. Like we say, if we all want to grow the game of pool, we all have to invest a little bit. For some, it's time. For the other, it's money. For yes. the other, it's talent. You know, it's Everybody has their part. Yep. So, real first. And I tried to go around and get in between the three and the four. And now, I think she's left the two on and with a perfect angle to get in between the three and the four. And this might be bad news for Brittany. Yeah, especially if she stuns the cue ball of the reel now, close yeah. to the center of the table, then from there, not really much more to do. Maybe that six ball is in a little, much, little more tougher spot, but... She left herself a little straight on this four. Would have expected to see her play that, but then double speed. She might be able to just float the five ball in or play a stop shot and take the cut on the six to go around. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the better options. Instead of drawing back, it's kind of tough. Let's see what she favors. Everybody has their own style, of course. Using the extension because this is the key game right now for her. Don't want to let it go three to three. Oh, boy. Yeah, and she's missed that. And that's what I'm saying. Like, drawing the cue ball back takes... A lot more precision on the cue ball, which I think the, the moment she struck that ball, I think there was a little, let me see, there was a little left spin on there. Yeah, if you could slow that down, you could see which way the ball was spinning. I think you're right with the left spin. No, no, right spin. Right Sorry, spin. right spin, yeah. I was just agreeing with whatever you said. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I didn't know. <laughs> No, it's just because if you play right spin, the cue ball's pushing out to the left, and she's missed it on the long rail, which, oh, look at that this. That's a beautiful cut. That uh, could be a set L saver. Like, like we said, that five ball, worst key shot for Sylviana and for Brittany yes. in the end. So great shot from Brittany. Needs to hold it together. Has missed a couple opportunities late in the game. Decided to really draw the cue ball past the side pocket. I was thinking about just stunning off the rail and leaving myself a little longer and with more angle she's to come off the rail. She's going to have a little longer shot on the eight here. Oh, I might just play a stop, like just stun, stun a little bit to the side. Down a little, right? well, yeah. I might not even use the rail. Just as long as I'm straight on the eight, I should be okay. See, 
Well, that works. I was going to say, if you hit the rail and you stay stuck to the rail, right. then this eight ball is a very difficult shot. Now she's got the angle, she can stun it and have the ten ball. You really, really got to focus on that eight here. This is. Yeah, she might be able to just play with a little left spin, just to roll it in. Spin will grab on the rail. Ooh. And she got a little shaky at the end. Like I seen her, her arm move a little bit sideways. This is tricky. Needs to make this. Cannot afford to make another mistake. In the side pocket. Oh, dead it center. Goes in, so we're a hill hill From that here. angle, you got to be dead center because I think it kick out sometimes. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, definitely. So unexpected as Sylviana had a pretty good opportunity, but in the end, it's Brittany Bryant. She at least made it hill hill, and now we'll be playing, we'll be breaking, hopefully to get into a shootout for her. Right. And with me n not knowing everything about the shootouts, I'll be, uh, we'll be down to a one commentator shootout here. Oh, you'll love it. You'll be fine. <laughs> I know a little bit. Enough, enough to make me dangerous, like they used to say. <laughs> so, nice reflection of the arena lights and the balls here. That's the view I was talking about, my favorite. And we'll get to Hill Hill, second set. Brittany Bryant to break. It's a square hit. Well, not so square, and that four ball got a little bit low because of it. Maybe the six ball goes? Well, that six did go in. And I think she might be just enough to see the one ball, no, but not to make it. Yeah, this will be interesting. I'm looking to push out here. And you didn't see the clock come on because they do have 60 seconds after the break to get a little more time to get switch their cues and evaluate the table so you did not see the shot clock come into play at that, that uh, given moment. Yeah, so might be a shot you have to take on. If you make the one and you run into the five, you still have the two in the side. So I do like that option. Just like that, yeah. nice shot, and well, Brittany might be in danger here with the three and the four in front of the side pocket. Still a little traveling to do with the seven and the eight, well, five, seven, eight. But first, this two ball might just have to make the two with some left spin, hit the rail and shoot the three ball in the bottom left corner. Just like that. Yep. Oh, did use all of the bucket there. She did. And I'm not sure if that's nerves or she was really trying not to go to the rail with the cue ball. All as Brittany can do is watch right now and hope. The table is pretty open. Yeah, it just needs to stun off the rail. It's always going in t into the direction of the seven, so guaranteed to be there. Just like that. And even if she gets straight, that's okay. If she leaves herself this angle, she can go to the other side of the eight. 
I think I like to go to the other side of the eight here. But you gotta stay on the high side though. You don't wanna be stuck to the short rail. You don't wanna have that angle. Oh, did wobble the ball and I think that might have gone a little short. Yeah, we've seen it before. Same area. And can she still play this with left and maybe run into the ten ball? She'll be she'll be using extension here, I gotta believe. See, she almost missed it on the thick side. That's how that it slowed all the cue ball down. Yeah, it took all the speed from the cue ball. Well, I'm sure she was trying to run into the 10, and or was she trying to leave herself that long for the 9? She's going to have to come up with one here. Oh, it does go if she plays with right spin. It yep. does still go, so it ain't over till it's over. Well, she's playing low. I think that's a little risky. She could go two reels just forward. Oh, she really played a big draw shot there. She's got perfect yep. tumble to the side. So this to advance and kick Brittany Bryant out of the tournament. Brittany, if this 10 ball is made, will finish 17th, tied for 17th. Oh, oh my she's goodness. missed it. She moved so much with her body and there's still a chance for Brittany Bryant. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, this she might yeah, she might just have to bank it. She yeah, this is it's tough. either that or you thin the ten ball. She took her extension, but yeah, how are you gonna this is in a really, really bad spot. It's either you play safe, really thin. Trying to hit it a little bit, get that cue ball to travel as far as you can. Well, she played that one. I would say that's though. a very good shot. Especially if you look at the cue ball, it gets really close to the rail, so that means it gets more uncomfortable if you want to. Let's say she tries the bank. She's, yeah, she's, she's so close to the rail, she doesn't really get to cue that nice. And she's indicating the bank, so she's going to give it a give it a go. have to play this hard though make the angle short squeeze it in too short and how is that a temple ending It's it ending from, in the, front side. Of the side sure it is or is it going a little bit further no it does not and it's shootout time who would have expected this to happen clocking in my overtime pay here that's okay that bottle of water is going to taste good <laughs> Oh yeah, she makes this ten ball. If she does, she goes to a shootout, and oh, that's sure not something we expected to see. I mean, to be honest, I think Sylviana has played a lot yeah. better. Yeah. But that's also how the game goes. If you don't finish, then you don't deserve to win. Looks like they might go right into it, even. No one taking a break in the entire match. Well, if you haven't been watching and don't know what a shootout is, Tim's going to take you through it. Yeah, I am. So the shootout will be four innings each player. There will be alternating sides. They start from the cue ball behind the kitchen line. And if the score ties after four in innings, they go to a sudden death. That means that the cue ball will go one more diamond back and will become a longer shot. And the person that won the original lag has the option to either shoot first or second in the shootout. Correct. And also what side? Correct. You got it. 
So, and the ten ball is exactly spotted to where it's wrecked in the wreck. So it's not a spot shot; it's a shootout. It's the difference. So Brittany Bryant goes first, and oh, she oh. did put a little snappy stroke on that, no, and we'll she's missed it. it. Yeah. So you can see the, the score boxes there. She got an X. Well, she had the X went in the wrong spot, but they'll get it right. Yep. So Brittany Bryant missed her first one, and I usually. I like to go first because if I make it, I'm putting my opponent under the pressure. Yep. Of course, there is always something to say. Now, if I go second and my opponent doesn't make it, then I also get the pressure. So it's like there's always a. I don't a know way if there's any way not to have pressure in a shootout. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, there's always going to be the pressure, but still, I like to keep the initiative to myself. So, Soviana Lu. First shot, nice execution, makes the first one. Breaking down the little hopes of Brittany Bryant by making this shot. It's important for Brittany to make this. She doesn't want to go 2-0 behind. From there, it could be really, really tough to come back. So like Tim says, they, they switch sides back and forth. So is there a clock on the shootout also? Yep. Okay. It's still a 30-second shot clock, it. yeah. If I would have waited two seconds, I would have known. Yeah, 30-second shot clock, but no extension. So big shot. Oh, oh boy. Oh, she's overcut it again. Did execute that a little better, though, but... It looks like she might be playing this standard just with a little left spin. And that could throw that 10 ball out. Well, like I said, 2-0 would be pretty bad for Brittany. And pretty good for Silviana Lou. So Viana shoots. And she scores. So she's up 2-0. And now Brittany yeah, has to make the next one. Yeah, either a miss by Brittany or uh, another make by, or two misses even wins it for Silviana. Yeah, so Brittany has to make this one. All the cards are in Silviana's favor right now. Big shot, and especially she hasn't been feeling too great, so very difficult. Will she over adjust now? She's overcut two of them. And oh, and makes, this one she makes it. So alive. now the opportunity is to Silviana. If she makes it, Brittany is out. But she misses. We really get interesting. Yeah. And that one she struck just so much better than the first two. Yeah, definitely, and what are the nerves here? How does Silviana Lou handle the nerves to kick Brittany Bryant out of this tournament? she's missed it as well and this could end up as a real nil biter because if Brittany makes this one now Tim I agreed to to shoot up but not to sudden death I mean I have to relook at my contract I think <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too exciting right <laughs> now it's I cannot believe this happened but the same thing during the two sets like I cannot we believe saw a few shots that on both sides that we couldn't believe right yeah so a lot of strange things are happening, and of course, Silviana will have another opportunity. If Brittany makes this one, she'll have another opportunity. But first, Brittany has to make this, or it's over. I 
Oh, oh unfortunately. And there we go. So Sylviana Lou takes down Brittany Bryant. Moves into the final 16. Yeah. Unbelievable match, actually. I d cannot believe what we have just seen here. So thank you, Dean. Hey, it was Tim, a pleasure to have you. Pleasure to work with you, buddy. And my name was Tim the Reuter, and we will hopefully see you guys at 5 p.m. later today. So be there or be square. Thank That's you. It.